Hi, kindergartners. So we are on lesson 7.1. We're on chapter 7 now. We're working on numbers 11 through 19. So that would be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Here's our first page. You see I have a watermark because I put my water bottle down on it. Whoops. But what you're going to do, we're going to make 11 and then we're going to make 12. But first, we have a 10 frame here. If I fill it up with circles, how many is that? Yes, that's 10. What I would like you to do is not only put a circle, but write your numbers. So we're practicing filling in the 10 frame, and we don't even have to count, right? We just know that if we fill it up, it's 10. But this is a good time to practice writing your numbers as well. So write your numbers to 10, make your 10 counters, and you can pause this while you're writing and get all the way to 10 in there. When you're done, how many more would it take to make 11? Yes, one more. We did this last week in our pair decks. We were practicing. So here we have 11. It's one group of 10 and one extra one. So if I look at my number counter, this top row is all 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 10 and one more. 10 and 1 equals 11. Tells us there's one group of 10 and one extra one. What about if I made one more? And here I added it. I'll add one more here. How many is that? Yes, 12, because it's one group of 10. So here's our one group of 10. And then we have one, two extra ones. Two extra ones. So 10 and two more is 12. And that's why we write the one first and then the two. Here we go on page 11. 11, not page 11, <laughs> it's page 262, but we're working on 11. So here we have some apples. First, I would like you to circle your group of 10. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to make a 10 frame around it, a circle or a rectangle. So here we have 10 and how many extra ones? One extra one. So we have a 10 and one extra one. So let's make 11. First fill up your 10 frame. So we can just fill it up. We don't even have to count anymore. We know that when this is filled up, that there's how many? 10. So we want to make 11. So we have one group of 10. And how many extra ones? One. 10 and one is 11. 10 ones. So we have 10 ones up here. And how many extra? One extra. Yes. 10, 10, and one extra. 10 and one extra, 10 and one extra makes 11. That's what 11 looks like on our number racks. That'll, that's what it looks like using our 10 frames. Okay, so let's do the same thing with 12. Here we have 12 limes. I think they're supposed to be limes. Let's go ahead and circle 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here we have 10. That's why we have a one first because we have one group of 10. And how many extra ones? One, two. So now let's trace 12. One group of 10 and two extra ones. Make 12. So now let's make 12 here. First we have to fill up our 10 frame. And if we fill it up, we just make our circles. How many do we have here? 10. 
<clears throat> but I want 12. So if I have 10, how many extra ones do I need to make down here? Yes, two extra ones. One, two. So we have 10, 11, 12. And how did we make it? How many were in our 10 frame? 10. We had 10 ones in our 10 frame. And how many ones down here? Two. So 10 and 2 equals 12, just like we did in our pair decks. This we also did. Half of you did it correctly and the other half was having a bit of a hard time. So let's go ahead and look at this. It reads, Maria makes a bracelet with 11 beads. Start at the blue bead on the left, right here. Circle to show the beads Maria uses to make her bracelet. So we have to count 11 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I put a line here. And I'm going to put a rectangle around all these. <clears throat> you can circle it or rectangle. I find it easier to make a rectangle. So here we have 11 beads. In this group of 11, how many are yellow? One, two, three, four, five. Five are yellow. How many are blue? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six are blue. Are there more blue beads or more yellow beads in those 11 beads? Circle the color beads that have, has more. So which is more, five or six? Yeah, more means greater, greater means grande. There, therefore, six is greater than five. And down here, we're going to draw a set of 11 objects. If you circle 10 of the objects, how many more objects are there? Okay, so we're going to complete this addition sentence. We're making 11. 11 equals. So it says make 11 objects. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to make 11 circles. Don't make them so big so they don't fit. Let's make 11 circles, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's my eleven objects. It reads to circle ten of them, so I'm going to make a rectangle again because it's going to look kind of like a ten frame, doesn't it? We have ten, and how many extra ones? One, yeah, just like we have here. Ten and one, ten, eleven. A group of ten and one extra one. So let's write that. How many did we put in the ten frame? Ten. Plus, how many extra ones? One. And it equals 11. Let's read it as I point. 11 equals 10 plus 1. Well done. All right, this is practice, what we just did. So we just did that on this page. I want you to do it again. See if you can do it by yourself. We're making what? 12. Circle your group of 10, trace your 12, make 12, 10, and how many more ones equals 12. Do that one by yourself. This one, 10 and one makes, that's right, say the number out loud to a grown up in your house and trace that number. Here, four airplanes, Plus, how many more airplanes join them to equal five altogether? Finish this math sentence. Count how many? 
count how many, circle the number that is less. Less means menos, smaller. Circle the number that's less. All right, and that's it. Have fun with math.